This is a program that discusses issues of faith for people looking for answers. This is Viewpoint with Bob Placey. Divine strategies for success. It's biblical principles for success in life. Pastor Rob Yannick wrote this book, released it. When was this book written? 2003. And now you've got one coming out that sounds like kind of the reverse. What happens when you don't see that success? What happens when all of a sudden success is fleeting and it's gone or you, you, you tried it, you knocked down, I quit? Well, I, I, I realized in stories that I've read and, and you know, heard about, um, there's always been failures on the road to success and i found out that everybody gets knocked down so this the new book it's is not about, instant it's not <laughs> instant no and the new book is about what to do how to get up when life knocks you mm -hmm. down because life knocks you down whether in business finances or in your relationships and what do you do so that's what the book is about and in the first chapter i talk about everybody falls. Yeah. Everybody gets knocked down. That re re just reminds me of, of Lot's wife when she says, why don't you just curse God and die? And, and yeah, yeah, Job's wife. Yeah, Job's wife. Yeah. I keep saying Lot, but Job's wife. Yeah, yeah she'd want him to throw in the towel, yeah. and, but he realized... We that, but we, we, we want to do that. It's just so much easier sometimes. I mean, it's that my, that's my blood on the wall. Why do I go back and beat my head on the wall again? You know, we look at Babe Ruth <laughs> as the, one of the number one home run kings mm -hmm. back in the day yeah. in Major League Baseball, but he was also the strikeout king. Yeah. He, he had more strikeouts than he did home yeah. runs. A um, um, friend of mine, Buster Douglas, uh, former heavyweight champion yeah. of the world, um, I went back and watched the actual fight on February 11th, 1990 in the Tokyo Dome against Mike Tyson, who was the heavyweight champion. Mm -hmm. uh, in the eighth round, he had, Mike, he had Mike Tyson up against the ropes, and Mike Tyson came out with a, a, a right uppercut and... He, and Buster hit the ground hard, mm. and he wasn't getting up. And, and my friend John Johnson was his uh, trainer, and John was yelling, get up, Buster. You know, who we have in our corner matters, you mm -hmm. know. Yeah, it does. And he was telling him, come on, you can do this. And the referee was counting one, two. He got all the way to nine. Had anybody gotten up after Tyson hit him like that? No. No, yeah. boxing history records that any time Tyson hit somebody and they hit the ground, they never got out up and he won with a knockout. Mm -hmm. But all of a sudden, at the count of nine, Buster Douglas got up. And then the round was over and he, he fought during the ninth round and then the tenth round happened and it changed his life forever. He knocked out the champ. Knocked him out. Time Magazine, a Sports Illustrated, Boxing Magazine had Tyson hitting the ground and his, he got hit so hard his mouthpiece mm -hmm. fell out. Yeah. And I asked the question, what would have happened if Buster Douglas never would have got you, up? You'd never know the name. You'd never you'd, know the name. Know. He wouldn't have the millions of dollars mm -hmm. that he has today um, and he wouldn't have been the heavyweight champion of the world. But that's so easy when we do get knocked down. I mean. You, especially when you, you've tried and you've tried hard and it's not your fault that success didn't, didn't come. I mean, you, you, you've, you've tried, you've, you've done these things and there's no success. And so it's just easy to say, I'll go on with my life someplace else. I mean, I'll, I'll just try something else. Why do I need to get back up? Well, that's where we need tenacity and courage and perseverance and faith mm -hmm. to, to, to realize, okay, I have failed. Maybe my business failed. Maybe I have a failed marriage. But that doesn't mean I'm a failure. What if it's not my fault? Oh, it, it, it's, it's not. It, a lot of times failure, is, failure comes to us a couple different ways. One, people make decisions and it causes us to fail. Mm -hmm. Two, I make dumb decisions <laughs> and I fail. You know, maybe I didn't lead the business right or maybe um, I didn't treat my wife right. You know, but so it's, it's twofold. Mm -hmm. It's not always our fault and sometimes it is our fault. But even if it is our fault, Bob, we still can recover. We still can bounce back. Just because we strike out doesn't mean we're not going to get another bat. So where do you get that inside of you to say, okay, I'm, it's, it's, I'm at the nine count. I either got to get up or roll over and play dead. What, what comes up inside of you? What, where do you get that energy, that, that stamina to get back up and maybe take another shot in the jaw? From the past training and faith and, the, and uh, realizing I have trained for this. You know, when Buster, he, got, he, he was trained to get hit hard mm -hmm. and to get back up. Doesn't mean they all get back up. 
but he was able, there was something on the inside of him, a drive, a purpose. Why? Maybe it's my family. He, th he said he thought about his kids. Really? He God. thought about his kids. And, and I've heard that from, from guys that, that have been injured in, in battle, that, that what gets them through, what, what, what forces them to, to continue to, to, to survive, yeah. is, is they grab a hold of one of those visions. His other thing was his mother. His mm -hmm. mother had just passed away weeks prior to that fight. And she had said something to him about, do this for me. So what is a good vision somebody can grab a hold of that's going to help them get back up? A, a good vision that would help people get back up is something that is obtainable. And if you can see it in your mind, it'll happen in time. You know what I mean? You have to work towards it. Things don't come easy today. So yes, if you start a business and it fails, uh, that doesn't mean the business is over. It's like Thomas Edison, yeah. you know, 10,000 ways the light bulb didn't work. Mm -hmm. He figured out these are 10,000 ways it didn't no. work. He didn't look at it as failure. Right. He looked at it as progress. progress. Mm -hmm. So we have to change our philosophies and our beliefs about success and failure. Failure is just, listen, success never happens without failure. See, that's, that, that's, that's a good point. You, you don't even know what success is until you failed a couple of times and say, I'm, I, I don't want to do this again. Exactly. Well, think about in the area of sports. A team wins and a team loses, but the following year, it could be switched. Mm -hmm. You know, that doesn't make who you are. Just because I always tell people failure is an event. Mistakes are an event. It's just something that happens. But God can turn those around and really give you miracles, mm -hmm. really give you um, extraordinary success. And, and here's the key. If you learn from them. That's a major, major, major thing. If, if I can I, look at I my can failure. Say, I'm not going to do this again. Yeah. If I can look at my failure or my mistake and say, huh, I'm going to learn from that. Then you didn't fail. It taught you something. Right. It educated you. It's just the classroom of life. Mm -hmm. Now, what if the failure does involve somebody else? Whether it involves, I mean, you failed. And in that failure, you've damaged a relationship. Whether it's your wife or your children or a business partner. How do you reconcile that? How do you, how do you go back and say, okay, I, I, I want to start this again yeah. when they've been hurt and they may not want to get, be part of your success? Your you success. have to admit, I blew it. You have to say, you have to say mm -hmm. I, it's my fault or this will happen. I'm sorry this happened. And you've got to repent. And there, there needs to be forgiveness. Sometimes it takes a while, right. but I think the person being honest and admitting the mistake is the first step to healing. You know, I've deal with people all the time who have made grave moral failures. I, I've dealt with businessmen who's they've made wrong decisions and their businesses had failed. And I have coached these guys because some of them wallow in in guilt and condemnation for that failure and you know because the state of people's salaries and benefits are online you yeah, know sure. toys r us just yeah. shut down twenty eight thousand people without a job you know and um there's probably some conviction in that of some of those leaders sure. especially when they got uh the private equity firms gave them um eight million dollars mm -hmm. you know as a little parachute they shut it down yeah yeah, shut, yeah. um but uh, i think we have to forgive ourselves and we have to learn from it and not and try not to go back and do the same thing that we did right the new book where can they get it they'll be able to get it on uh amazon and mm -hmm. they'll be able to get it on robyanock.com Thanks again, Robert. I appreciate you being here. My pleasure, Bob.